Hello there, Cancer. This is Lex. Welcome. This is your February reading, okay? If you have not already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I post new content or do live streams. Also, if you'd like to reach me directly, there is a link in the description box below to my website, victoryforhope.com. So I have already pre-shuffled and drawn your cards. I will go through them in the order in which they came out and then rearrange and clarify as necessary, okay? So first we have the sun, 10 of earth, balance, the star, awakening or the hangman, and the four of fire, okay? Balance is also um, the same as temperance in the traditional tarot. Crowning the overall energy of your reading, Cancer, we have renewal. It says review and evaluate a favorable assessment of facts. Time to move in a new direction. Okay. This is the number 20. Um, the same as the judgment card in the traditional tarot. Okay, in case you were wondering what that is. Time to make a decision. Time to choose. Okay, we're going to dig a little bit further on this overall with our angel answer. And it says opportunity. So new direction, favorable assessment of the facts will bring opportunity. I do feel um, with all of these cards, especially the 10 of earth with the four of fire, the sun and the star, that this is related to family. You are having to make a decision that is going to be best for your family. Okay. Balance. This could mean that um, you're dealing with the Sagittarius or um, we have Leo on the table. We have uh, Aquarius, whatever the case may be, but a spouse or just your entire family is going to benefit from this opportunity that is being presented to you, or it could be your spouse is getting a new job or something is happening that is going to break that standstill that you were going through at one point. Okay. With this awakening, I want to put this with balance. Okay. Cause it does say to look at things from a different perspective is important to be yourself uh, cooperation, compromise, and waiting for perfect timing. So let's dig a little deeper on this one. I feel that because these two are here, that is telling you to make sure that you weigh all of your options. If something sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Okay? You are seems like you have um, been presented an opportunity of a lifetime and that just kind of fell into your lap and it's telling you to make sure that you read the fine print if it is a job make sure that you are reading that contract make sure that you are um negotiating what's going to be in your best interest okay get the most that you can out of it will of fortune okay definitely fortune is on your side with this new opportunity King of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, okay? So this is something that is going to be very financially um, uh, abundant for you, okay? You're gonna, it's going to be a financial increase, a large one, okay? But is it worth it, okay? Make sure that you're weighing all your options. You could be like, this is the perfect um job for me but it may be in china or something like that and then you have to cut the ties and connections with your family okay so just make sure that the decision that you make is what's best for everyone and not just you because you have uh what i'm feeling is more than just yourself to think about in this situation okay for your life purpose oracle we have Children, your life purpose involves helping, teaching, and healing children. This could also be your own children. When I was saying that you have to consider all those that you're responsible for, your children, your family, your spouse, whoever, the opportunity that you be that you are being presented could involve you actually um, helping children in some form, okay? So what we're going to do now is we're going to pull a couple of romance angel oracles to see what is going on with you in love, okay? Pull well, yeah. One or two of these, or these of these, good God, I can't get it out. <laughs> One or two of these oracle cards. There we go. All right. Cancer, we have unrequited love, 
There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. We have children. Your love life is being affected by children. And we have getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other. Your bond deepens. Okay. We're going to clarify this a little bit further, but there's two ways that I'm seeing this. Okay. Some of you could be in a situation to where you have children outside of your current relationship. And that is tearing a rift in your current relationship because of the outside parent or the children don't like them or like your current partner. Also, um, after being with this person and getting to know them, you realize that you're not as tight as you thought you were. You're not as attracted to them as you thought you would be. Or they're starting to feel that way about you. But let's dig a little deeper. What's going on with Cancer's relationship? Seven of Cups. Page of Pentacles. Five of Cups is on the bottom. Okay. Yes, yeah, some of you may have been in a situation where you have committed or you are the victim of infidelity. Okay. Possibly with an earth sign or water sign is here. Or you could just have love for several other people and maybe something did not work out with your previous child's parent before you got to this one. And now you're getting a new opportunity to be with that other partner. That's one way. Any other messages for the love? Nine of Cups. Death. That's Scorpio. <sighs> yeah, for some of you, your relationship or your marriage is ending. For some of you, you are wanting to have a family with possibly a Scorpio or another water sign. Okay. All right. To wrap this up, we're going to pull an Archangel Oracle message to tie this all in. And we have victory. Your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. Okay. That is that opportunity. Make sure that it is best for everyone that you're responsible for as well. And for those of you with that's dealing with this love situation that I just read on, if that resonates with you or if that's your situation, you ask for answers and you're getting them. OK, the truth is revealing itself. All right, Cancer. All right. That is your reading. If this does resonate with you, give me a thumbs up, comment, share it with the fellow Cancerian that you feel may need to hear the message. Also, if you would like to reach me directly, the link to my website is in the description below. And please do not forget to subscribe. OK, loves. So until next time, Cancers, love you. Take care. Oh, stop the phone over.